Where is progress to be found? If you shift your focus from external things and start working on your own power of choice, then you're making progress. If you cultivate that power of choice and perfect it to align with nature, making it free, trustworthy and self-respecting, then you're making progress. If you realize that longing for or avoiding things outside your control leads to you being constantly pushed around by what happens around you, then you're making progress. If you realize it makes you unreliable and a slave to circumstances, then you're making progress. If you understand that chasing what others can give or take away puts you at their mercy, then you're making progress. If every morning you remind yourself of what you've learned and stick to it, then you're making progress. If you bathe, eat and live as someone guided by principles, just as an athlete trains their body or a singer trains their voice, then you're making progress. But if you're focused solely on book knowledge and that's why you've traveled and toiled, then you're not making progress. It's time to go home and stop neglecting your real responsibilities. Your journey has no purpose if it doesn't teach you to rid your life of distress and self-pity. In short, you're not making progress. And what does progress have to do with that? Everything? If your books taught you to face death, exile, prison and hardship like Socrates, act like him. Accept calmly your fate like he did, instead of lamenting. Who does that, you ask? Calmly accept their fate amid tragedy. One who understands that tragedy only shows the suffering of those who value external things too highly.